Russia is about to try using crypto to get around sanctions. This is so bad. How how bad is this right now? I mean, $330 billion of Russia's money going into the crypto market cap. Oh, no, man. So bad. So bad. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go through the whole markets right now, the on-chain, the long-term, mid-term, and short-term charts, okay, the TA, everything. But before, uh, let's talk about something that I got from one of my insider groups, okay? This is people like Willy Woo, this is big hedge fund managers, people from Hong Kong uh, that own a lot of crypto. Uh, big, big whale chat, all right? Uh, and the general sentiment in there is, yes, we may not have found the bottom yet, but it is fairly soon. And when I say fairly soon, potentially, uh, within the next month or so, right? Month or so, probably two months, okay? Uh, and if we are looking at this chart uh, that Willy Woo actually handed us uh, quite generously here, we can see here, if we are looking at the on-chain, that uh, yes, we do have this bullish trend reversal sign coming through right now. Now, this doesn't mean that we just go up from here. This doesn't mean you bang in 100x long, although, I mean, you could, you could, I'm just saying. Uh, but it does mean that looking at the past data, when we do get confirmed lows like like this, right? So this little red thing we can see uh, in, the, in the bottom right here, right? When we do get these confirmed lows, typically we do like to start nice uptrends, right? And it does look like we are uh, getting near to that point, okay? Uh, what he's highlighted here with this other red thing, right, uh, at the start, here we can see uh, that, uh, yes, it does mean that we can make new lows here uh, for this particular run, but it does mean that uh, the the essential downtrend or sideways accumulation here or consolidation uh, is potentially ending soon, okay? So uh, this is actually good news. This is great news across the board here. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on this and I'll update you if there are any uh, kind of updates on that side of things. But it does look like uh, this disgusting bleak sideways market will be ending soon. So look forward to that, okay? Uh, so let's jump in to the overall markets here. We can see it's a completely red, disgusting, just <laughs> sea of red across the board here as you can see here hnt uh showing a bit of resilience here but besides that everything is just getting obliterated so uh, yes we might have a bit of a bloody monday on a, on our hands but i do see us uh, potentially recovering or finding some kind of bottom here over the next few days before banging it up uh, to test those 60s and maybe low to mid 60s uh coming through this week but we'll see how it goes we'll see how the news goes this week as well i'm sure there's some data coming out i think inflation or something coming out this week uh, that could be uh, quite substantial for the for a kind of steering the rudder of the crypto markets, okay? If we are looking at fear and greed here, we can see down to 26. This is super low here. This is actually usually the time where we do find uh, pretty substantial bottoms as well when we are seeing this much fear in the markets. Uh, but yeah, we'll just have to see how this goes. Overall, we'll be watching this when it does recover back to kind of like a 35, this kind of area. Uh, that's when we can really start eyeing up those long uptrends, right? Uh, if we're looking at ETFs here, grim, okay? Very, very grim. We can see minus 100. 175 last week. This is on Friday. Okay, so what we're going to be expecting here on Monday is probably another red day here today. Uh, really like a lot of outflows here if you're looking here on the right. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, leading the charge there, we did see uh, ARC um, take out a lot here over the past few days. So uh, yeah, not not fantastic on the ETF front, uh, not great at all. But uh, overall, I do think just generally the growth of ETFs this year for Bitcoin are pretty bullish and I'm not trying to be the moon boy here. I do understand we're in a downtrend. We will get to the shorts and the longs that we're looking for uh, in a minute, of course. But overall, yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried about this. Yes, we might see some fear in the institutions and there, there is often delays uh, for people to make those decisions uh, before actually going in and selling those Bitcoins and, and causing those outflows. So uh, yeah, I mean, th this data is valid for more macro long-term stuff, but overall, yeah, we have seen the growth of ETFs this year just being ridiculous, increasing the crypto market cap uh, just massively, okay? Uh, if we are looking at the Caproli macro index, yesterday we did have uh, a small recovery sign that has now changed uh, because obviously these are live updated so uh, yeah that'll be for last week and this week starting off on a slow down an orange line right and, and these orange lines uh, are typically not great uh, for bitcoin as you can see here um can can spell for us to be in pullbacks can spell for us to be in more sideways motion here right but overall after those orange uh, time periods right and this is this is calculated by open interest volume um stuff like that with exchanges and on chain as well so this is one of the best kind of charts on the internet for bitcoin macro stuff long-term stuff okay 
and we can see here yes when we do get those green uh, these green lines come through after the orange uh, that's typically a great sign for Bitcoin and we usually go parabolic from those points okay so we're gonna keep an eye on this one over the next few weeks I, I don't see this turning green probably for another month or so we've got September here so uh, yeah I mean September is typically a bad month for crypto all round but towards the end of this month slash start of next month that's when we really get going here uh, on now uh, on potentially a huge crypto bull run back up to the 70s back up to or you know, violating the 80s 90s and 100ks from those areas okay uh, looking at the on chain here we are seeing here actually that we did get an uptick here we did get an uptick here which is fantastic stuff this is actually a super bullish sign uh, long term here for bitcoin okay uh, if we are looking at the, the the kind of overall market scope here uh, it's not fantastic we do need to see this round off a little bit more but overall uh, yeah this has only gone down because uh, yeah some miners are paying absolutely nothing for uh, for their mining and then other miners are paying ridiculous amounts so uh, that kind of that gap has widened a little bit uh, between profitability of miners okay which is typical in any industry and uh, yeah usually the short story here is when this does start pointing up again that's really correlated with bitcoin bull runs like seriously probably the most correlative thing out here right so yeah, this is definitely what you want to be looking out for here uh, on the channel. If you do want to subscribe, this is what we're going to be covering every week on this thing. Okay, uh, looking at the liquidation heat map, a little bit more short term here. We can see, uh, yes, a Bitcoin is trying to, well, these market makers are trying to liquidate this guy here who's put in 13 million and his liquidation level uh, is at 57 too. So we'll see if that uh, does turn out to be uh, something that gets liquidated. I imagine it does. Okay, this is not a market maker. This is a whale just about to get wrecked. Okay, uh, but... Yes, I mean, we do have a lot easier levels to claim around 58 to 60K here, or 58 to 59. I mean, once you get above 59, it's it's pretty rough here uh, for these uh, these guys pushing through, right? But uh, overall, yeah, I, I do think the range here, just looking at this today, will be, be between 57 and 59K. Uh, and uh, yeah, besides that, we are on the lower side of that range. So I would be more inclined to say that we are bullish coming up here, just looking at this anyway. But if we do want to push through here, uh, then yeah, I mean, overall, I would be expecting a bounce of this area but um yeah i mean this can also free fall today depending on uh, what happens in the overall markets okay if you do want to check out the patreon it's completely free no payment you just press follow okay sign them a google press follow okay you will get a free bitcoin signal every single weekday little two minute video of me uh, just iron up the trades that i'm looking for every single day again completely free why not just do it why not right and then there are the paid signals as well if you do want to upgrade 10 bucks a month very very easy okay on the altcoins but let's jump in to the long-term charts here uh, where we will be going through all of the trades and going through uh, the targets here that we'll be looking for towards the up and downside uh, for the foreseeable future let's go you've heard of prime right well what i'm about to show you is nothing to do with this literally nothing but prime xbt is the exchange that you need to be using, okay? They have very, very friendly user face, interface, everything, okay? Get over there right now, you get $100 for free. That's what matters, really, at the end of the day. Let's jump in. Okay, long term, let's kick this off. So we were highlighting these trades here towards the downside. We are we are officially in this beautiful measure move structure coming through. We did have a confirmed low put in here. This is not super valid, but it's valid enough to keep this trend line in, to keep this pattern valid, and to keep this measure move valid as well. So if we are gonna be expecting a direction today, I know I said between 57 and 59K, but uh, if we do lose these kind of low areas, uh, particularly this area here, 57K, right, then uh, that free fall down to complete this measure move becomes a lot more likely, okay? And that measure move is down to about 54.5, okay? So we will be targeting a short there, but those of you that did get in uh, to this, uh, this short uh, on this dump down over the weekend, fantastic stuff, congratulations, okay? And we'll get to that into the short term. But uh, overall, I do just wanna look at the general structure of the market here besides this measure move, of course, course so uh, we talked about the inverse parabolic curve before which uh, if you are just kind of new here all this means is uh, yeah this kind of curve coming down with trend lines and not being touched here uh, every time we we kind of pump up here so you can see this trend line wasn't hit okay uh, this trend line wasn't hit candle body wise all right uh, and this this trend line hasn't even been touched yet so uh, yeah if we did get a pump up it'll be interesting to see 
bit for Bitcoin on the long term if we do hit this trend line or not. If we don't hit this trend line, we make a, uh, a high put in similar to like this, right? Then it basically confirms our inverse parabolic curve, okay? And again, if you don't know what an inverse parabolic curve, it just means curving down, okay? Uh, parabolic curve is curving up like so, okay? Inverse is down, all right? So uh, what we'll be looking for here just generally, guys, uh, is a potential high to come in. If we do not find this trend line here, uh, the kind of, it will be around 61, 62K at the time. If we do get that pump up over the next few weeks, then uh, yeah, I mean, very bad for Bitcoin. We should be expecting a crash down uh, to the next low level, which will be likely around 52K. Uh, but yeah, I think we could uh, we could easily complete this measure move here before that time and before even heading in a little uptrend here. So if we're looking for a potential long or a DCA buy, uh, this zone will be uh, pretty key. So 54 54.5 uh, and 53k that are between those kind of areas where this trend line is all right and if we lose this trend line at any point then we do have a bigger measure move structure here which will bring us down to around 45k uh, now this this move in general i'm, I'm actually just going to change the colors of these so it's a little bit easier to see here we go this is the move i'm talking about okay so uh, with this structure here okay what we're going to be looking for is the measure move obviously uh, for the wave inside that structure will be this, okay? But um, there are a few ways you can you can do this, right? I think a more valid measure move will be the most recent wave. And because we didn't hit the top side of this, that wave is going to be smaller. So what we can do here is do something like this and then get a smaller measure move, which does actually align a little bit better with our linear regressional growth curves. And if you don't know what that is, sorry, I had an audio cut out, but yeah, if you don't know what that is, that is essentially uh, this line here. And this tracks essentially the highs and lows of Bitcoin, uses a bit of Fibonacci uh, to, to figure out where the future potential highs will be. And everything has one of these, right? If you've got a limited supply on anything and an adoption curve, then it will have one of these and they're incredibly accurate, okay? Uh, so what we will say with this thing, is just checking my order is working uh, we can see that uh yeah i mean that level is an important level that we should be targeting right so a uh, 44 7 being a key zone here uh, this will be a massive massive buy zone okay uh, and if we do get below that zone then uh, god help us <laughs> uh, no if we do get below that zone then i will say that uh, the next level the, the level that i absolutely do not expect to go below and if we do go below i imagine it to be very short-lived like it was uh, every single time we've hit this line okay uh, that level is currently uh, currently around uh, 30K, okay? So 30K being the absolute low for Bitcoin, I don't expect to go below that ever again unless Bitcoin just gets obliterated somehow, okay? Which is a possibility, okay? If a certain, if a certain, um, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of something that rhymes with BlackRock, but we'll say BlackRock, right? If BlackRock want to kill Bitcoin, then uh, we uh, we expect that, uh, yes, they, they will try and accumulate as much of the supply as possible and they will dump it on the market, uh, allowing it to never recover because it will no longer be following the models uh, that are associated with it. So I'm talking stock to flow. I'm talking big on-chain models that are respected generally. Okay. Uh, and I'm talking about uh, charts like this, right? So the rainbow chart uh, that really does logarithmically keep uh, market makers in line and keep levels, um, keep levels solid right with buy pressure uh, and as soon as those levels are broken then that's the worrying time for bitcoin but overall some some uh some uh, models like stock to flow and stuff like that uh, things that are based on the fluctuation in mining difficulty based on bitcoin's adoption uh, those will still be valid okay so let's say we did have a massive uh, decrease in adoption or the what's the opposite of adoption just obliteration <laughs> yeah of, of bitcoin and uh, everything everything went to zero, whatever, right? Then that mining difficulty will come down so much that it will just begin the ecosystem again, right? It will begin something again where it'll be so cheap to mine Bitcoin that it will become a, prof a profitable model. And then uh, we just start again from that point, right? Uh, but uh, overall, I don't expect that to happen. As I say a lot here on the channel, uh, Bitcoin is a profitable business, okay? And uh, yeah, it's it's something that billions of dollars and almost trillions of dollars, crypto is trillions of dollars now. Uh, but uh, yes, there is massive money in market making in crypto, uh, so they will not let this fail. Okay, this is this is why it's getting more political now because it's got so successful uh, that it is uh, something that is lobbied for, which usually means it's going to be here for a long time. Okay, uh, so uh, keep an eye on that. But uh, overall, the main point here is I don't expect Bitcoin to go below 30k. Okay. Let's jump in to the midterm. 
Midterm here is is the signal I just put out on Patreon for free. But uh, yeah, if you want these signals a bit earlier, then Patreon is the way to go here, and it's completely free, as I said, right? Uh, but yesterday's uh, or the, the 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 trade we were looking for last week is this one, okay? So we're looking to break this low. We did get that, okay? Um, and yes, I mean, the stop losses would have been uh, these highs here, right? So uh, yeah, you would have been safe from those stop losses. Uh, and we can see here, we broke down, we retested, we broke the low, and there was a little trade here you could have got uh, in the early hours of this morning here, uh, which was down to, uh, yeah, basically where we are right now, right? So we'll get rid of that for now. Uh, the next trade we're looking for is just another another dump down to the next level, okay? And that level is, uh, is from uh, 57K all the way down to about 56 Okay, right where these liquidation levels are so yes we are still looking at this measure move playing out uh, and that is obviously down to about 53.5 so uh, yeah we can ride this down or we can uh, we can take it level by level and I'm, I'm just gonna take it level by level right every level we break I will short down to the next level okay and then take profit wait for another entry uh, and then just ride the momentum uh, just keeping it safe okay because we have been going down for a while here uh, and I wouldn't be expecting us to uh, to just I mean completely obliterate we can of course but uh, yeah I could also be expecting after such a steep downtrend that we do spill over to the upside quite easily so uh, yeah we want to be careful of that we want to be vigilant of that but generally yes we are looking uh, for an extension of this move we'll look to break this low but we're going to take it level by level okay let's bring it down to the degen zone degen zone here we can see that uh, yes I mean if you did get this trade, great, but uh, as I said, super risky last time, of course. Uh, and we can see here that, uh, yeah, I mean, we do have a bit of a gap here. If you're going to push me for a trade here, I wouldn't advise taking trades on the hourly here, guys, I will just say. But if you're going to push me for a trade, uh, what I'll be looking for is uh, essentially a break this low. We break this low, there is a potential move down to these volume weighted ATR bands, okay? Um, and then similarly, if we break the high, as we've talked about in a lot of our altcoin signals here today in the paid section, we can see that, uh, yeah, there is a little gap here coming through but again you're going to need vip3 for this uh, so feel free to check out uh, jumpx in the description as well uh, for that vip3 that you get for free and you get forever okay vip3 for free forever uh, just by going on to jumpx so feel free to get that anyway uh, it's not sponsored either okay they don't pay me anything i just think it's something that if you are going to be trading you want the lowest fees possible right so yeah i'm going to recommend that best service uh, but yeah we can see here that uh yeah those are the trades i'd really be looking for here in the dgen zone i'm not going to waste your time here guys because uh yeah i do have a lot of stuff to do today but um yeah hopefully this has been quality content for you guys and hopefully uh you're enjoying it all right hopefully you're getting the value from it because that's why i do it and uh if you do get the value from it be sure just be sure to leave a like leave a comment let me know how you're doing out there uh, and uh yeah god bless i'll see you in the next one peace out goodbye from me hamilton cheers